in this lecture we will understand what is eclipse and the role shadow umbra and penumbra plays in the formation of eclipse so first let's probe the question what is an eclipse to explain this concept of eclipse I show you a movie here is Sun you see earth and orbiting around earth you see a moon now many times you will see that moon will come between Sun and earth that is will come somewhere here and sometimes earth will come between moon and Sun so moon will be here and earth will be in between and then you will have Sun here so let's closely monitor the movie now now see the movie see how the motion of earth and moon is happening around sun see this is a situation where moon is here and it is almost in between sun and earth whereas this is a situation where moon has come here and earth is in between moon and sun when earth comes in between moon and sun light energy coming from sun cannot travel fully to the moon so because earth blocks it and that's why there's a shadow caused and this is one form an, of an eclipse similarly other way around if moon is in between then it will cast a shadow on earth because light will be blocked by moon so here is the di diagram which shows you the concept of the shadow this could be earth or moon but this is where the darkness of the umbra region so to find this draw the ray diagram take a uppermost point of sun and draw two rays one going from uppermost point of sun which is the source to the objects one end which is this ray and the other ray from the same point of the source passing through the other end of the object which is this this gives you the first ray the second pair of rays from the other extreme end of the source because all other rays will lie in between draw two rays one going from one end of the object other going from the other end of the object and obviously light there is no light in this region no ray can reach here so this is the region of umbra if it falls on the object object will become dark here so if this was moon and here is earth there will be one form of an eclipse and if this was earth and you have moon here this will be another form of eclipse let us discuss now in detail now this is what is called lunar eclipse when the shadow of earth falls on the moon and this region is the the umbra region which we have discussed here rays are coming from the top end the way we discussed earlier and you see moon falls in the shadow of the earth however this situation where you have moon in between earth and sun is solar eclipse see the rays from sun from one end of the sun are going like this then you take other end of, of the object which is the moon similarly you draw the, this side we have been drawing this thing and this point here earth the point here will be the shadow of moon on earth and you will see totally dark so it's obvious that in uh, lunar eclipse sun rays cannot reach moon therefore moon gets shadowed by earth and appears will appear therefore dark however in solar eclipse somebody standing on earth will not be able to see sun sun will be eclipsed by this shadow created here and you will call this as solar eclipse 
under no circumstances you should see solar eclipse by naked eye or even by dark glasses you need special coating glass or special films to see solar eclipse because in this period though visible rays do not reach earth but there are ultraviolet rays which you will study later which reach earth and therefore can damage your eyes so you have to be very careful with this here in this image you see a child actually seeing solar eclipse with proper protection now this is a special film which can block ultraviolet rays and therefore eyes of this child will not be affected so to summarize, both solar and lunar eclipse are nothing but manifestation of the shadow creation. And what in shadow? The umbra and penumbra, which we know by drawing rays from the source, two rays, one going to one end of the object, the other going to the other end, and then taking the other end of the object source, and then drawing the rays, this gives you the umbra region and this also explains the eclipse